you guys been asking me to come back here so I made the two hour trek today in the Humvee to come right out here to St. Clairsville, Ohio to this Spirit Halloween in an abandoned Sears at the Ohio Valley Mall. Now I don't know if there is an entrance inside the mall that goes into this store but we're gonna find out. I want to see what it looks like but let's go on in here guys. Which doors do we have to go in? Hello folks. All right let's try this one. It looks open. There we go. Oh, here we go, guys. So, oh, wait a minute. First associate to get $50 donation gets to pie a manager in the face. Look at it. It is beautiful. So, if I donate the $50, do I get to film the manager getting pied in the face? I don't see why not. Hi. If I donate the $50, do I get to see that do I get to film the manager getting uh, pied in the Absolutely, face if you want to. awesome all right we'll do it <laughs> did you hear that guys if I donate the $50 we get to film them pieing the manager in the face right here right now at Spirit Halloween in St. Clairsville Ohio but first look at the awesomeness that is happening right up front at the Spirit Hallows Cemetery holy crap guys this is the first time when I've had a chance to actually look at stilts standing right in front of me waiting to show me what he does when I was at the flagship store I didn't get enough time to really look so here we go I didn't even watch any videos online about him guys I was kind of actually wondering if he said anything but all he does is laugh that doesn't mean he's not cool his head twists, he has bowling pins in his hands that go up and down. And he has a long, slender, black and purple body. What the heck, stilts is actually pretty dang cool. And I gotta say, I love the spooky tree that's right behind him. And right on the other side, guys, we have Leatherface right here in the Pretty Woman mask. Let's get him going. Yes. It's funny because he's like super tall and he's a little bit chubby, which is actually what he looks like in the movie. But for some reason, looking at him here, it just doesn't look right. I don't know why. He's totally cool. I do love how the chain is actually moving on the chainsaw. That is an awesome added feature. All right, sir, we'll come see you later for a little bit of chili. We are going to go right now through the Spirit Hallows Cemetery. And guys, look at these awesome, spooky gargoyles on top of these pillars those look so cool let me zoom in get a load of those guys all right let's go on through the gate here and here is the straw man let's get him going here come on straw man come on keeping these tools nice and sharp just in case the farmer's spirit returns this year i think he will be very pleased with how i've been running things I'm sure he'll be thrilled to see you. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes on and on and on. And I love how while we're watching him, we can hear the chainsaw and stilts going on in the background. Let's come on over here, guys, to the side where we have the widow here. Now, I could be mistaken, but I believe that last year she was only available online. But this is what I always say. You never know what's going to show up in the stores because this year we have the widow. Let's go ahead and get her going and see her break her own neck. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like so simple yet so effective. Oh yeah, we have a whole bunch of boxes of animatronics right here we're going to look at. But first we are going to check out Slim over here. He is standing tall front and center. Let's get him going here. All right, Slim, come on now.
He's pretty cool. I think the more I see him, the more I'm gonna like him. I do like his bag of popcorn. And the other day, somebody corrected me. I said that you could put some glue in there and put some real popcorn. And they said, yeah, but what about the rats? So, what you would have to do is like make an insert, a cardboard insert that would sit right in there that you could put your popcorn on and you could put it in and you could take it back out. Okay, let's keep on moving here, guys. We have another pile of animatronics right here available, but over here we have poor George. Now, he's another one that the more I see him, the more I like him. Let's get him going here a minute. There we go. <laughs> he is actually pretty cool like i said the more i see him the more i like him and i really like his orange hair look at that he is pretty dang cool. Okay, let's go right on into the crypt. We have our awesome candles of flickering death. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a nerd. We have the gargoyles and the fire of death and the fabric of death. And of course, they have Dagger Mike over here, who was another one that I ended up liking a lot more as I'm starting to see him in the stores. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second time he actually made me jump. I, I like this guy more than I thought I was going to. Each time I knew he was going to jump at me and he still scared me. And of course we have the Wicked Maker over here, the scary sitting scarecrow. I do like those eyes, guys. That is pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead out here, guys, and see what else we can see in this store. Now, I know from being in here before that this store goes all the way down there and back and around, but first, let's go ahead and look at what they have here on the floor for sale. We have Man's Possessed Friend, guys. Look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five of those. Two young Crouchies. We actually have two Slims in stock. And look at this. We have a Leatherface in stock as well. How cool is that? And then over here in this pile, guys, look at this. We have a poor George right on top, a straw man below him. We have two stilts in stock here, another poor George, and another straw man. Oh my gosh, they have even more set up on the floor here. Look at this. We have three dagger mics over here, guys, and two the widows. Then in this pile here, we have three sitting scarecrows and two more. So we have one, two, three, four, five sitting scarecrows. And it looks like... Okay, wait a minute. Some of them are sitting, some of them are scary. We have one, two, three, four sitting. We have a scary on the bottom. And then we have two more scaries over here. All right, that's a pretty good selection. All right, let's go ahead and walk through the store over here on this side. I told you, this is a big store. Look at this. They have the rest of it set up back here. How cool is this? Guys, this is so very cool. I am so excited right now. This is so Halloween-y right here. Listen to those sounds. We have the ghosty guy up here. <laughs> A running child. I can see Gordo over here popping. So much going on in this scene right here, and I love it so much. It feels so much like Halloween. All right, let's start over here. Let's look at this headstone. Here lies Lord Farquaad. <laughs> then we got this guy right here. The Howling Spirit. Look at that. He is so simple, but he's so awesome. Why did your lights go out? I think it's because of this right here. Let's see. Come on now. All right, who, what does this go to? Does this go to this guy? What the heck? Something's going to scare me. Nothing's happening when I step on there. All right. Are you like motion? There he goes. He's motion activated. Okay. Let's just listen. He is so very cool, guys. He is $1.99, and look at this. He has his contraption down here on the floor and a pole that goes all the way up the back to hold him up that high. So let me look at this gargoyle guy right here for a minute because does he do anything or is he a static prop? I think he's just a static prop, but he is pretty dang cool looking. Look how creepy that is. I know, sir, I already heard you. Please go on about your spooking. Look at the awesome spooky tree right back here, guys. How cool is that? Oh, here we go. Now he's going, okay. 
you can hear the bells. He's lit up. You can see his red eyes. Ooh. Okay, let's move on over here, guys, because I have got to see Gordo, but not before we see Eternal Rest. What? Did I just see his head spin around and around and around? Oh my gosh. I love this prop so much more right now. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's how it's supposed to be. The only way I've seen him acting before, or her, whatever it is, is that she's looking out here and then the head turns around like this. But look at that! It's a full, like, 720 spin. That's like exorcist material right there. Watch this. That is totally cool. Guys, you gotta tell me, is that a glitch or is that how she's supposed to be? We got another awesome spooky tree right here and we got vines lining the graveyard all around here. And we've got Gordo right over here. Oh my gosh, he's so much bigger than I expected. I thought that pumpkin was about half that size. All right, let's get him going here. Come on, sir. Yes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my gosh, he is so awesome. I'm so glad he's so big. And look inside. You can even see the pumpkin guts and the pumpkin seeds in there. He's only 149 too. That is an awesome prop for 149 bucks. I haven't seen any on the floor yet, but if I find one, I'm buying it today. Okay, there's these guys over here, but before we go down Skid Row, we're gonna come over this way and we're gonna actually go through here just because it's cool. All right, here we go. Desmodus right in front of us. Everybody loves this guy. All right, I'm gonna step on his pad here, but I'm gonna show his face as I do because he's pretty quick. How cool. <laughs> How cool is that? He's a little bit too evil for me. I don't know. He looks a little bit too devilly in the face, but he is totally awesome. He's just an awesome vampire bat. Or are you guys all gonna tell me that I'm wrong? All right, we got the Grave Watcher here, but she's not doing anything at the moment. We have seen her before though, so we know she's awesome. Same with little Skelly Bones. Let's see if we can get him going. There we go, all right. Come on, Skelly, come on. Come on, Skelly, come on. <laughs> oh, wait, there she goes. What were you waiting for, miss? All right, very cool. She's totally awesome, I love her whispering. Let's look at the black heart here. I love how it's kind of dark in here and they have the flickering candles. Let's go ahead and get them going here. Come on, sir. Oh yeah, look at that. The music is way too loud to hear what he's saying, but he does look totally awesome. All right, let's come on down here, guys, to the last one in this section, and that is the double doors here, which they have, as we know, well, we'll find out. Here we go. A jumping spider. Hello, sir. I mean, this is New York. How did you get this size of an apartment? Okay, it's not really New York, but that was pretty dang funny. <laughs> is it me or are the boxes different this year? I think it's a different design on there. Okay, let's come on over here, guys, and look at the boxes, what they have for sale on the floor here. We got a little skelly bones. We have the black heart. We have a desmodus. We have a grave watcher right on the top here, okay? We have another black heart, and then over here we have two eternal rests. I do not see a gordo in this pile. Let's look over here quick, because there's some more things in the middle. We have two pose and stay skeletons. We have a whole bunch of sinister spirit dolls over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six stuffed dummy props here, but no gordo. What a bummer. They do, however, have two of the ghost swings, two of the 55-inch floor candelabras, and two fogging skull piles. They also have all these swinging chicks, the creepy crimson girl on a swing, the swinging witch, and the empty soul girl on a swing. Aw, oh, they got devilish Desmond. Can I hear a scary story? Yes. Once upon a time, there was a little doll who came to life when everyone went to sleep. <laughs> That was a good story. And now I won't sleep for a week. We've got the butcher and the monkey chimes. Ooh, look at this. We have loving Lilith in here. She's pretty creepy looking. Let's see what she does. Don't ever leave me alone. I'll get very upset. You don't want to see me upset.
<laughs> All right, we got the wall o skeletons over here. Several life-size skeletons. We got this orange guy here. This orange skeleton with a pumpkin head. I've been seeing him popping up in stores this year, and it's very strange, but okay. We've got all these creepy guys. We've even got the hook head hog and the hook eye guy and the ham hock. Who wants a ham hock? We've got the chains of death. Oh my gosh, guys, this store is pretty well stocked for just opening. Let's leave some stickers in the witch cauldron. We've got these creeping fellows. And look at this, we have carrot. There's a couple of carrots in stock here. Hello, carrot. And we have scabs here. Look at this guy. I'm sorry you hurt your tailbone. We're gonna put you right up here on top. I guess not, he won't stay. He wants to fall, there he goes. Right along with your best friend forever, carrot. Look. Carrot is like, can you believe he put us up here? Oh my God. All right, let's take a look over here, guys. We have a whole bunch of Anna balls. We have some Chuckies over here, some good guy boxes, pretty dang cool. Oh, look at this. We have the light up ghost face here. How cool is that? He's a blow mold. When I saw him online, I thought he was actually gonna be ceramic, but he is a little blow mold. Same thing with the light up Sam here. He's pretty cool. And then we have a light up killer clown. There we go, now we got him on. I don't know if you can tell because it's kind of light in here anyways. And we have some awesome new snow globes for this year, including this guy right here, the Mars Attacks snow globe. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Does he light up? He's pretty cool, but I thought he would light up. All right, we've also got Michael Myers here, and he does light up. I guess you have to turn him upside down, though, to get the stuff going there. And then we got Leatherface over here. He also lights up. Those two are pretty cool. Oh, we got Pennywise on the top here, too. Let's get that one going. Oh, look. Look. He lights up really good. Is he? Okay, here we go. Yeah, very cool. Look at that. All the awesome Nightmare Before Christmas stuff over here, including both colors of Oogie Boogie. Oh, and we have a whole bunch of zombie babies here, guys. Look at this. We have some along the bottom that we know so well. We have the Brain Muncher over here, the Crawler Guy over here, the Hand Eater over here, and look at this. Gutsy Gwen. Oh my gosh. He's like eating the innards from the pumpkin. You, sir, are coming home with me today. And then we got this crazy guy up here. And look at this. I saw this one online. I believe this one lights up as well. There, oh. Too quiet. You can't understand what he's saying, but that is pretty creepy. Zombie baby's cradle. What that? Wow, that is heavy. That is like legit wood. That's not even plastic. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, since I already found what I want, I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy and take him home with me today. Look, look at the hair. He has a hair spout. He's also made like completely different than the other zombie babies. Look at this. He's like, he's more of like a rubber material. He's kind of squishy and he has the hair spout. Where zombie babies like the brain eater are more solid. You can't squish her and she's eating a brain. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this guy and head up front because I got word through the grapevine, through the pumpkin vine, that they actually found a pie. I am gonna donate 50 bucks and we are gonna see the manager get pied in the face. Okay. I'm ready to donate the 50 and see the pie in the face. $50. There we go, $50 donation right there. Okay guys, here we go, officially getting a pie in the face, the manager of the store, because I donated the $50. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Wait, look over here before you even wipe it off. Look at that. 
<laughs> Very cool. What a good sport. She took a pie in the face for a simple $50 donation. That was well worth it, guys. All right, guys. Well, that was very cool. St. Clairsville, Ohio. That was well worth it. She took a pie in the face for a $50 donation. One last look at the store before we roll out. And I got to say, I love when there's flags out front that say Halloween. Halloween.